Hey guys, this is Locke. I've decided to weigh in on the uh, controversy surrounding the issue or boycott or whatever it is uh, regarding the global festival medals and uh, input from other players like Cabbage and, and so on. First of all, I want to make sure clear that I don't really care too much about drama. Um, so I'm actually coming from a point of helping players understand because there was something in, in my past, uh, the story, that stood out to me that helps me understand the Asian culture a little bit better and I wanted to share it. Uh, and so since this has absolutely nothing to do with the game, um, I decided I would just sh showcase some random uh, PvP matches that I've been playing with this team. Maybe you want to see the, those matches too, I don't know, or maybe you can like turn off the screen and just listen to me. It's up to you. But anyway, I'm going to start with the story. So this is a story from a few years ago, and it is a true story as far as I've heard. Um, but, you know, this is something that I've heard from somebody else. So if the culture has changed, if I'm totally off mark with this culture, with this uh, story about the culture that's depicted in, in Japan, then I apologize. But this is what I know of. And uh, to me personally, it has helped me understand the culture a lot better. So that's why I'm sharing the story. So um, a person uh, who is from the States travels to Japan uh, and goes to a coffee shop sorry, not a coffee shop, a tea shop, it goes to a tea shop. And uh, she orders some tea with uh, with sugar uh, and says, yes, I, I would like some sugar and uh, with my tea. So the server uh, comes back and says, uh, no, 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 you don't have sugar with your tea. You, you, here, we, we just don't do that. Uh, and the customer says, the the American customer, she says, um, I understand that most people don't have sugar with your tea here, but I would like some sugar with my tea. Somehow, they end up getting into some kind of argument, and eventually the manager comes over to ask what's happening, and the, the American customer tells the manager what's going on. Like, I, I just want some sugar with my tea. Can I please have some sugar with my tea? The manager talks to the waiter, and eventually... The manager comes and tells the customer, I'm, I apologize, but we just don't have any sugar. We, we just ran out, so we can't give you any sugar with your tea. So the client says, okay, um, fine, that's all right. I would really like some sugar with my tea, but I drink coffee black, so I, I will just have some coffee, please. So the waiter now comes back with a cup of coffee and a packet of sugar and some milk. And the client is completely befuddled. And I, I was too when I heard this story. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So the client now wants to understand what's happening here. Why are they, uh, why didn't they give them sugar when they asked? So she eventually finds out that in Japan, the waiters, waitresses, they have a responsibility to make sure the clients at your restaurants don't look stupid. Uh, and again, I don't know if this is really the culture that's depicted as as I was told in the story, but when I heard this, I was amazed and I was like, wow, that is insane because uh, in America, in the, in the West, uh, I'm from Canada, but I'm, I'm assuming Canada and you know America have very similar cultures. This would never happen. Like if I go to a, a restaurant and say, I would like some ketchup in my tea and I'm gonna, and this is my tea, uh, you know, I'm paying for it. I would like some ketchup in my tea. I'm, very sure they will put ketchup and and don't care right but in japan uh it's not about money right like, like it, it's it's actually about no i want to i don't want you to look stupid in front of the other customers i have never heard that before and i was like i was actually um like impressed when i heard that i was like wow uh and again to the western culture this would this is just insane because I mean, in my opinion, there are two things in the Western culture that is um, that we value about everything else. The first thing you value is money, money like money is king basically. And the second thing you value, which actually sometimes might be more than money, is time. Those are the two things that we really care about. And in uh, you know, in Asian countries, from from the story and from other similar stories and other. Uh, things that I picked up from talking to these people, it's it seems like, okay, yeah, sure, money is important, but it seems like there are other things that are more important. Like, you know, we want to maintain, uh, what is it, like honor. We, we want to maintain uh, a, a good rapport, a good honor system, 
and uh, I, like I, I don't know the word for it exactly <laughs> i don't know if honor is the word but it's like like hard work like hard work is is more important for example like uh, i i don't want to pay you for a shortcut to do this but if i do it the the long tedious way and i show how committed i am to this sometimes that's more important than just spending like an extra 10 percent to get it done faster you know so uh, what I want to say with that, like, obviously that story has absolutely nothing to do with the game, but I thought that for me, that story helped me to understand that these cultures are totally separate and totally different. And, um, you know, because these two cultures are, are, are different, sometimes we have trouble understanding or seeing the other person's point of view or the other culture's point of view. So, uh, no, now we'll bring this point back to the game. So, uh, obviously like these two games are, sure they're the same base game but a lot of the banners and a lot of the things are different and um obviously you know the customer bases are also different i mean i i think people understand that they're different but they don't really know why they're different i guess you know like like for example before i heard the story i had no idea that uh people would react that way uh, because as a person that you know grew up and lived in in the west that kind of thing happening here is just completely unheard of right it's like they have it but they don't want to give it to you because they don't want to make you look silly that's that's silly right? to me it's silly because that's just that's just weird but um so anyway bringing it back to this game so uh like for us you know money money is king and and time is convenience like we would we will pay money to get things done faster right that's that's just how we how we do it and again in the west that's that's not really sorry not in the west and in, in japan that's not really the case like they they enjoy uh something being tedious because um if they're doing something tedious and it uh they finally you know pull it off they finally do whatever it is they're trying to do uh that's like a reward in itself whereas for us well, first of all, I guess it, it it makes sense just because of the demographics, right? Like most of the people that are uh, in a position to pay money on this game are probably working class people. And if you're working, we don't have the time to be uh, spending hours and hours like doing like a manual game or something, right? Like we don't have our like if like obviously nowadays we use auto clickers. I, I don't yet, but a lot of people I know use auto clickers. Um, but uh, if you if you remove the auto clickers, we just don't have the time to sit in front of the phone and press that multi button to to do this over and over. We just don't have the time for that, uh, especially if if we are people that are working because you know we are older and we don't have the time for that. And so the people that are spending money on this want uh, want convenience. I mean, literally, you can buy skip tickets, right? Like we are paying money. To basically skip playing a portion of the game that like you know that's a bit silly as a as a thought that's like silly right like why we, like i mean we really want to play the game but instead of playing the game we were spending money to skip playing a part of the game but that's just how how you work it because i mean even for me i don't have time to to do all like when i'm raising resonance now it's so easy because i can do like a skip you know skip a thousand battles and i can raise resonance equipment proficiency and so on and so on uh but to uh you know to to players from a different demography like in this case like you know the asian demography that that kind of stuff is uh maybe it, it it's a bit silly to them because you know there's value in actually playing the game if i mean everybody can spend i, I don't know how much it is to get skip tickets but everybody can spend like say a hundred dollars if you are a working class person and um everyone can uh you know raise raise the resonance for this new unit uh on on the first day or something right but instead if you if you're not able to get skip tickets like that i mean i i know they have skip tickets now but i'm just explaining it from like the the uh the point of uh, like you know the, uh, the thought not not exactly the what they can do but but it, but imagine there was no skip tickets that, that's the point i'm trying to make if there is no skip tickets if you're able to get a unit to the max resonance on day one you are a very committed player right obviously and you really like the character you like the game and so that's what they're trying to show off with that that's like you're showing off the commitment to the game by not having any skip tickets enabled 
so that's from what I understand that's 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 what they like but again as a in the West as a paying player we don't have time for that so obviously the people that are making these games they want to cater to the players that's going to spend money because um, you know that's how they make money if, if you don't make any money from the game like if, if you're if you're targeting the players that have a ton of time and no job and no money I mean your game is not going to do well just because you're not going to be uh, uh, reaping their like you're not going to be making any money off of it right um, so now let's talk about the particular issue with the with the global uh, how they're handling Zaza like so after I told that story think about it for a second we are complaining that we don't get an opportunity to spend two hundred dollars to get uh, two hundred medals to buy Zazan. That's insane, right? Um, like, I mean, I, I've seen many banners on Reddit. It's like, why didn't they give us more coins? And sure, I I, I share that frustration with you in in a, in a way because uh, when Duane was released, I was easily able to get two hundred coins, and in the first year anniversary, I was able to get many coins as well from the from those banners, and I was able to max out a lot of things, like a lot of units, a lot of vision cards, including the Bahamut vision card. But this time, we just didn't have any coins, and so obviously, you know, we're we're used to something and we want to uh, get it. But just take a moment to to think about how absurd it sounds as well. Like we're complaining that we don't get to spend money <laughs> to get a shortcut, right? Uh, but if it's like a five dollar or ten dollar uh, shortcut, sure. But this is a two hundred dollar shortcut. Okay, sure. There are some um, some deals, I I think, uh, for less money. But I mean, if we didn't use those deals for uh, for say two hundred coins, basically, you know, four banners. Like how I get two hundred two hundred dollars or two hundred coins is each banner is typically fifty coins, and each banner costs two thousand. Uh, uh, 2,000 paid Vizier, and about 2,500 Vizier is about $50, so that's how I get to $200. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I mean, sure, there are deals to get, like, I think 4,000 or 6,000 paid Vizier for less money than than that. But, uh, again, if you're not spending those Vizier on these banners to get coins, you're probably going to spend that on something else. So eventually, at the end of the day, we would still be spending 8,000 paid Vizior uh, to get to 200 uh, medals somehow, right? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, and again, think back to that story. It's like, I'm paying you. This is my coffee. I want it to be done the way that I want, right? And that's, I mean... We can say different different things. We can say that's entitlement, or we can just say I'm a paying customer. I I, I deserve, you know, uh, the service that I'm paying for. And you know, uh, there are different ways of looking at it. There's no right answer here. Okay, I, I'm not saying that global players are right. I'm not saying Japanese players are right. All I'm trying to do is to say that our cultures are totally different, really. And I mean, getting mad at uh, one. Uh, culture for not really understanding that culture isn't really going to do anything, to be honest. Um, and I don't think even boycott will really work because I don't think it's very, very, very difficult to get so many people on board to boycott at the same time. So uh, unless it's like some extreme issue, I don't think boycott's going to work. And I think, I mean, people are still spending money. So if people are spending money, they don't really... Um, Sure, there might be like a vocal minority that is expressing their, uh, uh, what is it called, disappointment. But for the majority of people, you know, uh, if things are fine and they're still continuing to play, they're still um, spending money like they did before, you know, calling for a boycott from like an additional whatever percentage that decides to boycott isn't really going to impact the bottom line, right? So, uh, so what is the solution here? I mean... As I said, there isn't. There's is no right answer. There's no solution. It's just kind of understanding, right? Uh, understanding that there are two different cultures. So how did they even come up to this decision? How did they come up to the decision to say the global um, 
uh, fan favorite unit is going to be limited, while the Japanese fan favorite unit, the voted upon unit, is not going to be limited. How did they come to that decision? I have, I don't know. Um, maybe they're testing, because Duane was also a hundred cost unit that was also limited, uh, that was released in global, and he came with the two hundred coin banner upon release, right? Uh, whereas Zazan, again, similar, like a uh, hundred cost unit, but he did not come with the two hundred coin banner. So maybe they're just testing the waters to see how people react. Maybe they already have the data and they know that if people are angry this time and the next time they do this, if they if they release those coins, people will be more uh, more inclined to buy. Maybe I don't know, right? I I, I don't I, I don't know the answer why they why they do the decisions they do, but um, I I just wanted to take a, like really this video is just saying that hey guys like this is how different the cultures are, and there's no point in I mean like. I, you know the people that that like the people that are trying to do community outreach and uh, uh, trying to reach out to cl to to players and keep players engaged. There, there's uh, sure there's a lot of you, but relatively this this uh, there's only f like so few people, right? Uh, so I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, there's any there's I don't think there's much merit in getting angry and worked up over things like that. But anyway, that's my that's my take. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video i mean let me know what you guys think uh as i said i don't really get too involved in drama but uh that story that i heard this was probably like six years ago uh really gave me an appreciation for that culture just because it was totally unheard of for me and so i wanted to share it and i hope that by sharing that story maybe it helps other people understand that culture a little bit better too. Uh, now, for reference, I've never been to Japan, uh, so I might even have been totally off base with that story. It's it's very possible. Um, but anyway, that's that's what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hope you guys have had a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.